timesguitar.com and let's take a quick look at the intro riff or the main riff of the song called Rock On from the movie Rock On. So it uses power chords and I'm using an overdrive pedal so you are getting a rock sound so most of the people relate this sound as rock sound. Anyways, so this is nothing but we are using an overdrive pedal. You can use a distortion pedal also. So distortion is even more heavier, the sound becomes quite heavy. So here we need power chords. So power chords are like this. We need only two notes. If you know the scale, then the root note and the fifth note of any scale gives you that particular power chord. So here it starts off with A power chord. So you put your first finger on sixth string, fifth fret and fourth finger on fifth string, seventh fret. So sixth string, fifth fret and fifth string. 7th fret. So you need to play the 5th and the 6th string only. And the beauty of this thing is you can move it anywhere and get a power chord of your choice. Like if I move this to the 7th fret, the 6th string, the note on the 6th string is B. So this is a B power chord. And similarly if I move this shape to the 3rd fret, I get a G power chord. And if I move this shape down, like from 5th string, I'm holding this shape, so 5th string 3rd fret and 4th string 5th fret, this is a C power chord. So these three power chords we are going to need. But anyways, A power chord can be played here also. If you keep open string as the root, then it looks like this. If you think that open strings are actually frets, then the shape is like this. But since we don't need any finger to hold open string, so we just hold it like this. We play the 5th string open and put our first finger on 4th string, 2nd fret. So many people play this riff from here also, but I prefer it from here. So I'm playing it from here. Anyways, so in order to play this, you just keep your palm here on the bridge, just where the string starts, lightly put it here. So you listen to the muted sound and non-muted sound. So you need to practice this in order to understand whether you are doing it fine or not. I'll give you a few hints muted sound so anyways so you hold a power chord do a palm muting and do two strokes one two and on the third beat you strike these two strings and this is not palm muted I'm just lifting my palm off so that the third beat is an accent and it rings so clearly listen to this So after playing the third beat, what you can do is release the pressure and mute it. Or maybe you can hammer on to the sixth fret. You can do an experiment and see which one works. After hammering on, you release the pressure so that stop. Or maybe if you don't want to hammer on, then just release the pressure. I'm putting my fingers and muting it so that I'm getting a jerk. Alright, so after this, so practice this very slowly, it's very difficult to explain. Then I'm going to a G power chord, but before I'm striking the G power chord, I'm doing a down stroke and an up stroke in a muted way. Left hand muting, not palm muting. So down, up, down. So mute, mute, play. So I'm going to join this. Once again. Mute. I'm not pressing the strings, okay. But on the third beat, down, up, down, when the this down comes, I'm pressing it. So down, up, down. And immediately I'm going to the C power chord. This is G power chord on the third fret and C power chord is the same shape. You bring it one string down. So, so this do this part uh, separately. Now you can join this. If 
you like power chords then you should check out Iron Maiden if you haven't checked them out so they have got amazing riffs and all most of them using power chords like wasted years can i play with madness fear of the dark hallowed be thy name thanks for watching and do like us on facebook and twitter where there are pages in the name of tams guitar and also mail me at info@tamsguitar.com if you have any queries and if you like this videos please subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are in need see you next time bye bye